Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about a special cache called translation look aside buffer. So welcome here and we are talking about translation look aside buffer. So here we are going to talk about first thing is why at all this uh, translation look aside buffer which is a small cache required okay and uh, we will also discuss what can be the advantages and disadvantages of maintaining this buffer. So first we will talk about that uh, here when you are accessing memory okay memory because of this page table implementation because of this entire logical address to physical address translation first what we need to do is first we have to access the page table okay first we have to access the page table and why we need to access the page table because we want to translate logical address to physical address for this translation purpose first we have to access the page table which resides where which resides in which resides in main memory okay and finally i have to finally actually i have to uh, access main memory for instruction and data access main memory for instruction and data so any reference given by the CPU, okay, if the CPU give a reference, so first you go and translate, first if, if a reference generated by CPU, if a reference generated by CPU, then first is the translation. Okay, and for this translation, we have to access the main memory. Okay, we have to access the main memory. So, what is happening in this case is for accessing the uh, for accessing any instruction in data, this is equivalent or effectively effectively it becomes two memory access. Okay, two memory access and one for the page table one for the page table and one for the another for second for what instruction or data okay so now because of this constraint okay because of this constraint and and moreover if you think that uh, if the if there is a hierarchical page table like a two level page table and we have seen three level page table and if that is also larger then we can go more level of the page table this required for how many memory access required two level page table means two memory access required for page table abbreviation i'm using and one for instruction or data so as you are increasing your level the average access time will be what it will be keep on increasing because more memory access will be like three level it will become three memory access for page table and again another one for instruction and data okay so that way so that is not a very good situation because our average memory access time okay average memory access time will be keep on decreasing okay it will decrease okay and uh, so what happens here in this case we have we we uh, the whole idea was to maintain non contiguous uh, memory allocation using pages and certainly to maintain that thing we are getting this disadvantages and uh, so certainly not a good situation because this has become really a disadvantage for disadvantage because whole purpose of effective memory access okay average access effective memory access time will decrease decreases okay so what to do huh what to do to overcome this problem they have come up with very uh, another solution that rather than uh, 
keeping and always accessing the main memory let's maintain a small size cache okay small size cache dedicated for only instruction and data only sorry or dedicated for only a page table okay not instruction in data that cache is different this cache is holding only page table entries and because it's a small size cache we can only few page table entry okay so this small size cache holding few page table entry is called your translation as the name suggests translation what translation we have to do logical address to physical address this translation okay and we are maintaining a buffer for this buffer is nothing but the cache okay so that is the idea to maintain a small size cache holding few page table entry so now this is the this is the arrangement this is the paging hardware with your tlb this is the tlb and this is the cache memory okay cache memory as you can see is what is it is holding few page table entry So idea here in this case is let's talk about TLB hit. Okay, well, let's talk about TLB hit. If my translation, if my logical address, if I get the physical address or frame number directly from the TLB. So we'll take the this part, the P part. What is that P part? P part is your page number part. Huh? And that is one of the division of what? Logical memory. Logical address P part. And we will search in the TLB. Okay, we'll first look at the TLB. If it is find that entry over here by some searching mechanism, then I'll directly get the frame number. Okay. If it is not, then we have a PTBR, page table base register. Okay, page table base register. That will be added like an old, old arrangement that will be added with this and uh, we will going to access the page table. If it is a single level page table, then only one time access. Otherwise, what we will get here? Another base address we will get. And uh, this will be uh, in a hierarchical division. We have seen there are more indexes are there. And finally, we'll get the D1. So like P1, P2. So that I, P2 I will use here. And finally, I will get the F, the frame number, and that we can use. And we can go to the uh, this uh, physical address. Okay. So in TLB hit, what will happen in this case is in TLB hit, uh, in TLB hit you will directly get the uh, frame number in this case and in the case of TLB means we have to follow this entire path for uh, getting our frame number. Okay, so every time when a process is initialized, now every time when the process is initialized, when we do the process ready for execution, The TLB also initialized with this. TLB also loaded with loaded with uh, logical address space of process so that we can make it faster. The next question come here in this case is how the TLBs are being mapped. Okay, how the mapping of the TLB has been done. So, uh, you if you have idea about the cache mapping, okay, cache mapping. Okay, so cache mapping is having a, a situation where we have a three ways of mapping. That is your direct mapping and we have second as associative mapping. And the third is your set associative mapping. Okay, so we have three different mappings and that mapping is done in this way that we take what physical address space physically maintained cache and in that case what we are going to divide into the three part. The part is your tag and your block index and it will be a block offset. Associative mapping is what is having only two categories here in this cases. 
tag and block offset. Set associative mapping is what? It's a middle of between these two. So we have tag. We have a set index. And we have a block offset. Okay. But there, there is a block. And here what we are having in this case, if you look at here, we are having here in this case is entry. Okay, only page number, only entries are there. There is no concept of blocking. Huh? We don't have a block. Single, single entries are there in this. So now uh, here, uh, this block offset part will be removed when we do the TLB mapping. And we are left for the TLB mapping. We have only this situation that we have a tag and uh, TLB entry index. I'll give you example for this, huh? but we don't have a block. And here we have a all thing as tag only. And here we have tag and set index. Okay, so that is the mapping of the TLB. Okay, so uh, now I think it will be not very clear to you now, uh, but uh, I'll give you example for this and then it will be more clear. Okay, so now if for a physically address case cache, this is our physical address that we are going to divide. But here we are what we are going to divide here in this case is just look at the previous slide. Here the TLB is maintained by this term that is only this P. Okay, so what we are going to do? We are going to divide this P, which is a page number. What is this P is for page number. Page number field is going to be divided into different fields. Okay. And that will become tag TLB entry. And this is also your P bits will be divided the page number bits. And this is also the P bits will be divided page number fields. Access the TLB. Okay, now why I'm saying here uh, the two different times. Huh? So this is a search time. Okay, T TLB search, and this is TLB access. Now access the TLB. Here, if you go back in this uh, diagram, so here in this diagram we are. This is the search part. Huh? We are comparing by sort of uh, I'll explain you in the examples of TLB mapping that will search the compare the tag field okay so we'll compare the tag field here and then uh, we will access it means we'll access the frame number access frame number okay so and and then if it is a hit Okay, then we will take one path and miss will take the one path. Okay, so that is the how it has been designed. The first process uh, one after another is that uh, first uh, CPU generates logical address. Okay, logical address. Then second is uh, search the TLB. Search the TLB. Now, based on this, the result will be hit or miss. If it is a hit, then third time will be access the TLB. Access the TLB. Fourth time will be uh, get the for now after that frame number will be available. So access main memory For what? For it can be for instruction or it can be for data. Here if it is search the TLB and if it is a miss then in that case the third step here it will be if it is a miss then in that case what we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to access the page table. Access the Paste table, and if it is a one level paste table, then one memory access. Huh? MA is for memory access. Two level, then we have two memory access. Huh? So as many as levels are there, that many memory access. Fourth will be access the main memory.
okay so now i'm ready to write the formula and here i'm uh, writing few notation tlb search then i'll say tlb access okay and i'll say tm memory access time and i'll say h as the hit ratio and 1 minus h will automatically become the miss ratio so now here if i start uh, doing this thing ignoring this time tlb search is mandatory for this huh? mandatory for what whether it's a hit or missed we have to search the tlb huh? so first outside you write the entire time as tlb search plus h times h time what we what we should write h time we should write the hit part access the tlb so now tlb access time multiplied by what uh, access the main memory that is tm directly and 1 minus h what should i write 1 minus h i should write what uh, here uh, access the page table so this is level level whatever the level into tm okay that is for page table and plus one more time tm this is for uh, for instruction and data okay so this is the formula for it okay this is the formula for what average access time t average we can say t average okay so that's all for this discussion thank you